Did you know you can use open source tools to discover publicly exposed Azure blobs? Let's get right into it. So we all know that from an Azure administrative perspective, you know, it is almost a nightmare to manage all of the different storage accounts within Azure. We get different storage types and also the, one of the most popular ones is Azure Blob. And one of the problems from a security perspective is that sometimes those blobs can be publicly facing and we don't always know what data are in those blobs and what of those blobs are publicly facing or not. So that being said, let's have a look at some open source tools to see how we can enumerate all of our publicly facing blobs and also see what data is within them. So let's head over to the demo. Alright, so let's have a look at the tool that we are going to use. So the tool's name is Blob Hunter and this can be found on GitHub. So what this tool does is you will sign into this tool with one of your Azure identities that has you know, access to one of the subscriptions and hence the storage accounts and it will do the enumeration for you and spit it out in the format of a CSV file. So that sounds simple enough, so let's have a look at the requirements. So what we'll have to do is we'll have to have Python 3.5 or above installed. We will have to use Azure CLI to sign in. There are some requirements that we need to download from a package perspective. And the last one is the account that we're going to use should have one of the following permissions or RBAC roles assigned. It's either the owner, the contributor and the storage account contributor, which makes sense, right? But if you're feeling fancy, you can create your own custom RBAC role and assign it to an identity in order for you to complete this exercise. All right, so first things first, let's go ahead and have a look at Python. All right, so now I'm on the Python website, python.org. And here we can see we can download the latest version for Windows. So I've already downloaded and installed this one as you have to restart your PC in order for it to take effect properly. So now that we have one of the first requirements out of the way, now what we'll have to do is we'll have to download this. So we go to code and we say just download. And then we'll have to extract that content, you know, to a specific folder. So I've went ahead, downloaded the file and I've extracted it to a new file on my desktop called Blob Hunter Demo and I've got the, the four files that is required for this. All right, so just to recap, so we've downloaded Python, we've installed it, we've rebooted our machine and we've downloaded the, the Blob Hunter files. All right, so now what we'll have to do is we'll have to open up command prompt as admin. Here we are, so let's go ahead and close this web browser. And what we're going to do is we're just going to change the directory to our working folder, which will be this Blob Hunter demo folder. Now that we're in there, what we'll need to do is we will need to install some of the required files. So that will be pip install r requirements.txt file. So all of the requirements are on that requirements.txt file. So let's go ahead and execute this. And as you can see, it will download and install all of the files. You know, if you do not have them already on my machine, I already have them, which is great news. Let's just clear this. And now for the grand finale, what we'll need to do is we will go and execute our Blob Hunter program. And what we do with that is we say Python space blobhunter.py and what it's going to do now is as you can see here it wants us to sign into our Azure portal where we have you know subscription access and I'm just going to say yes all right so now it's finished enumerating so now we can see you know it found 13 resource group and six storage accounts um, it doesn't have permission to enumerate all of them because my subscription has overrun with costs this month, unfortunately, you know, the life is hard sometimes. So now what happened is it actually exported all of the internet facing blob files, you know, in a CSV format. So let's have a look in our folder here. So if I just drag this over, now it says public containers and today's date. It's going to open that up. 
All right, so let's have a look at what we have here. So let's go through the column names first. So we've got our tenant ID, our tenant name, subscription ID, subscription name, and our resource group. So these will be used to identify exactly where these resources lay within our Azure tenant. And then we've got our storage account and our container to deep dive even a bit more to know exactly what resources are we talking about here and what, and what we are referring to. Then we've got our public access levels. So we've, it's either, you know, blob or container. Then we have the URL. So I've redacted these for logical reasons. And then we have the total amount of files. So you can see here, um, we've got text, CSV, PDF, DOCX, and XLA. And these are the most common file types. And then you've got others as well. And this will give you a good idea of what is happening in your Azure environment and what is publicly accessible. So it's not against the law that you have, you know, files that are publicly accessible. It's just a matter of, do you know what are all the files that are publicly accessible and what is the easiest way to achieve this without having to buy software to tell you this, you know, to give you this information. Um, if this video was in any way helpful, please leave a like on this video. Please smash the subscribe button. And as always, see you in the next one.